What's up guys, let's get right into my first workout of the week, which is usually a hybrid push day that starts at home and finishes at the gym. I'll start with the handstand routine at home the moment I have a spare 30 minutes during my day. I like to warm up the wrists with rotations and wrist rocks a couple of times. I'll also do things like arm rotations and this sort of wall slide to get my shoulders ready. The actual handstand routine usually starts with back to wall handstands where I have one foot on the wall and one foot off. The goal is to do five slow and controlled switches for a couple of sets. Then I repeat the same thing, but this time with my chest to the wall. And lastly on my handstand routine, I'll do kickups against the wall to practice getting into a handstand. With this drill, you want to try and land as softly as possible on the wall and eventually you won't even need to touch the wall at all. Once I'm done with my handstand routine, I will either go directly to the gym or I'll get on with my day and go to the gym later to do a more bodybuilding focused workout. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. For my first push day of the week, I'll start with the incline bench press for upper chest gains, dumbbell lateral raises for the side delts, then one of my favorite chest exercises, the cable press. The mind muscle connection I get on this one just hits different. Follow that up with another side delt exercise but with a different resistance profile and I finish off with some tricep pushdowns. Since I already did two exercises that involve pressing, I'll only do one tricep exercise. I also don't feel the need to do front delt work because of the pressing, as well as the fact that the handstand training works the front delts a fair amount. By the way, if you notice in some of these clips that my clothes change mid-workout, it's just because my gym can get quite busy sometimes, and I don't want to take too much space by filming in crowded areas of the weight room. So some exercises are filmed on different days. Let's move on to the second workout of the week, legs. That allows my muscles and joints in the upper body to recover a bit. Starting off with the classic barbell back squat, not going very heavy as I only recently restarted squatting. I took a long pause due to knee issues. Next up, seated hamstring curls, then knee extensions as my second quad exercise and lying leg curls for my second hamstring exercise. And we finish with calves because... Calves are hot too. Okay guys, onto the first pull day of the week. As of late, I've been keeping my pull days predominantly calisthenics orientated. Reason being, I want to get my front lever to a consistent 10 seconds. Also, if there's one muscle group that calisthenics is really good at hitting, it's the back. So here's how my workout usually goes. I like to start the week with a full front lever attempt to see where I'm at on my max hold. Then I'll do three sets of 15 seconds with a front lever regression to accumulate volume. Something a bit unique that I like to do is to throw in one or two back to wall handstand holds between my sets of front levers. Reason being, I have fairly long rest times for my high effort skill training. It's usually around five minutes between each set of front lever holds. So to be time efficient, I add extra handstand sets. Keep in mind that these are low intensity sets that aren't demanding on my muscles nor on my cardiovascular system. That way I ensure my next front lever set isn't negatively affected. After that, I've gotten enough isometric work, so I'll now go into front lever raises, keeping the movement controlled and going for five total reps in each set. As you can see here, I managed four reps of the one leg front lever raise, and to make sure I hit five total reps, I did an easier progression for that last rep. Now, if you've watched my video on how to mix calisthenics and weightlifting, you'll know that the front lever mainly works the lat muscles. For that reason, the rest of the workout will be focused on training the other pulling muscles to make sure we keep our physique and our strength well balanced. That being said, my next exercise is a wide grip pull up, which will emphasize the muscles of the upper back. After that, we work a muscle that is often forgotten, the rear delts. Doing a rowing movement with the upper arm at roughly 45 degrees is one way of biasing the rear delts. That is why I have these unilateral 45 degree ring rows in my routine. For the last exercise of this pull day, we'll be doing incline bicep curls to ensure that the pythons are ready to strike when someone asks you to flex. The following day is a day of sadness and despair. <coughs> I mean, repair, because you guessed it, it's a rest day. On this day, I focus on resisting the urge to do any kind of physically demanding activity and instead try to do some normal people activities like hanging out with friends, studying, or beating your Mario Kart record. Let's move on, shall we? All right, push day numero dos. Once again, I'm doing my handstand routine first and we're off to the gym. This time we're starting off with the flat dumbbell bench press for our first chest compound exercise, trying to do either more weight or more reps than the week before to ensure progressive overload. Then I'll do some dumbbell overhead press, 
a great shoulder exercise that also has some translation of strength to the handstand push-up. This time the second chest exercise is a fly variation. I went with the pec deck fly. Followed that up with some dumbbell lateral raises because those side delts are hard to isolate with calisthenics. And we finish with cross cable tricep extensions. If you have elbow pain, this might be a good tricep exercise for you because keeping the cable in line with your arm reduces the stress on your joints. It's not a one size fits all solution to elbow pain during tricep exercises of course, but still worth a try. My second leg day very much resembles the first one, but I might change up some of the exercises while keeping the same structure. If for example all the squat racks are taken and I don't feel like waiting, I might go for the hack squat instead for that given day. Though generally, I try to keep at least the big compounds the same so that I can really make sure I'm increasing the intensity over the weeks to apply progressive overload. For the second pull day of my training split, I'm still starting with front lever training, but I focus much more on form and I lower the intensity. So I'm not going super close to failure like in the first workout. However, for the more hypertrophy part of the workout, the intensity remains high and I'll keep the movement patterns the same, but I'll switch up the grips or the variation for some of the exercises. Incline curls might be replaced by pelican curls for example, or the wide grip pull up might be changed for a wide grip chin up. I finish off on Monday with another rest day. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute Luke, your split lasts 8 days. That doesn't make sense. We only have 7 days in a week. And to that I say, you're absolutely right but I don't care. My joints thank me for taking the extra rest day at the end, and although it might not be the most optimal split, it works for me, plus I'm still training 5-6 to six days a week. So if there was a lesson to take away from this video guys, this would be it. You can take inspiration from other athletes like myself, but be sure to try different things, tweak little details, and adjust your split so that it is best for you. Listen to your body and make it in a way that you can adhere to your routine consistently while balancing the other aspects of your life. By the way, this was a week of training during my summer break. If you want to see what my weeks of training looks like while balancing being a full-time physio student at university, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much if you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.